you made an awesome website in Framer and you're ready to publish and you come over here in the top right to hit publish or update and the site updates, but it's still optimizing for SEO purposes. And then out of nowhere, you get this freaking warning message and you're just like, what the heck? How do I get this out? Why is it there? What did I do wrong? So I want to share with you a few tips specifically on nested links, which is most of these warning issues. Not all of them are related to nested links, but a few things to know and hopefully it's going to get you to fix those issues and not have them anymore. So first you want to go in here and download this text document that's going to tell you what the issue is. It's going to give you an idea here. It's not going to tell you exactly everything, but your list might be longer. So in this case, I have a button or a link that says learn more, and this is where it's taking me. And this there's an issue with this link. That's the nested link. So if we go back to Framer here, and I know that I have these cards here that each card takes me to a specific section on the website. And the last card, I added two links. I wanted the functionality that I want here is that if you click on the card, you go down to section number five. But if you click on the button specifically, it's going to take you to a different page on the website. And this is where the main issue lies when you want to do something that you have two links on one element. And a lot of times this is related to components because Framer can't really know when you have a link on the component right away. So it doesn't give you a warning or issue right away until you publish. So in short, these nested link issues are because they're nested. So you can never have a parent layer or a wrapper and then a child or an element inside that wrapper. And both of them have a link because the child link is going to be ignored and only the parent or the wrapper link it's going to be triggered. So what you would have to do is move that link into a sibling layer. That way you would not have nested link issue. So if we go deeper into this component over here, you can see that I have a link on the parent on the hover effect here. And then I also have a button inside that's now hidden. It's only shown when I check the variable yes or no here. But the moment that I turn the variable on, now I have two links on this card and that's where the issue is coming from. The way to get around this and also before I go there, I want to show that Framer does have um, a system in place to try to avoid those situations. So for example, I have the link on the parent container there. So if I go on header and I try to add a link, it's not going to let me do it. It's not going to allow me to add a, a link to the header because it's a child, a child of that. And Framer can detect that. But like I said, when it's a component and it has a link, Framer doesn't know and then it doesn't notify you. There's some instances where, especially in components, if I go into the primary and I can kind of like slip past that warning from Framer. And if I add a link here, it's going to add a link to the hover header as well. So as you can see, I added a link there and now it gives you this type of alert, which says that there's a nested link conflict. And then you can see the layer that it's uh, conflicting with. And these are ways that Framer helps you prevent that. So how you would fix it, it's basically by adding the link on a sibling layer and not on a parent. So in this case, I would do a trigger uh, layer here that has just an empty layer, make into an absolute um, layer, make sure that it's all just filling the entire container and then um, remove the link from the parent, add the link to the trigger. And then the lastly, I would select these two here and add a point pointer event none. So when you click on top of the text, it's still going to click on the trigger and not select the text instead. So now if I go back and we preview this, you can see that we have a link over here and a link over here. So you can see it down here where it says guides and resources. And then when I hover over here, it says at the end, um, section number five, and that's the expected behavior. And now if I publish, you can see that the warning is going to go away. <clears throat> There you go. Essentially, this is all you have to do. Just move the link to a sibling layer. It doesn't have to be an absolute layer like I did. It can be any other container that you have that's a sibling. One last thing to keep in mind <clears throat> is a situation that it's a little bit annoying, but I want you to be aware of, which is when you have something like this, where you have a variant for the desktop and then a different variant for the mobile or the tablet, and you have something like, for example, I have this button this hover thing over here, I'm going to change the opacity back to 100 and make it visible. 
So you can see that the button here is a little bit higher because I wanna add an effect when I hover it. So what I would do here is just change the opacity to zero. And as you can see here, there's no nested link within the primary. There's no conflict here because this one has a link. Nothing else has a link inside here. Same thing with the hover layer or hover container here. We have the button still that has the link, but there's nothing else inside that has a link. When we go to the phone, we get a similar thing, but because the phone doesn't have a hover, I use the visible none or no here, just hit the entire hover part because it's not there. And even though this is hidden and we have a link over here, it's still gonna give us the issue of a nested link because the primary component has the button, it's opacity zero, but it's set to visible yes. So that's gonna give you a problem as well. Um, so if we go back and we publish this, you're gonna see that we're gonna get the warning again. <laughs> and as you can see, we have the warning again. But the moment that we go in here and we delete, or let's say we say visible none to the hover and the button from the primary part of the component, and we update it again, that warning is gonna go away. And there you go. So just some things to keep in mind. If this was helpful to you, please leave a like below. And if you feel like you wanna subscribe, this really helps the channel and helps me create more videos. And I really appreciate you watching and I will see you in the next one.